All right. Y'all enjoy the intro. I'll be right back. Oh god, that thing. So, there are a lot of elements to this game. Oh, that's the music brings back memories. No, this was a Sega property. This was a Sega property and very much not Final Fantasy adjacent. No one ever. Uh, I do not. Uh, yeah, no, a Naval Rumble. Like I said, originally released on the Dreamcast, uh, pretty, pretty solidly, um, pretty solid RPG through and through. Sky Pirates, Empire. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha we finally found her. Admiral Alfonso, her ship's in range of our cannons. Excellent. Prepare to fire concussion shells on my command, but avoid hitting her ship directly. We need her alive so we can question her. Fire! Your Excellency, the girl has been knocked unconscious, but she's unharmed. She's been taken aboard our ship. Ha ha ha! Empress would be very pleased with me. Sure to be rewarded. Rather handsomely, I might add. What? Where'd that come from? Sound like an explosion. Status report. Now! The lower hole has been hit! Someone is attacking us! Attacking us? Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? Small ship hiding in the clouds off the port side. That flag! Air pirates! Not just any air pirates. Our main characters. Yar. Yeah. 
pair of pirate scum. Do you know where Valu and Imperial soldiers? Of course I know. That's why we attacked your ship. You guys have the best stuff. Hi, Vice of the Blue Rogues. In a few minutes, I'll be relieving you of all your valuables. Tag us all by yourself. You're either incredibly blamed or incredibly stupid. I'll be tossing you overboard. Wait for me! Vice, you left without me. I'm not gonna let you have all the fun. Oh, hi, I'm Ica. Blue rogue like Vice. And we're robbing you. You dare mock the Valuan Empire with your insolence. Kill them! Toss their corpses over the side! Yeah, I hear that a lot. No point in resisting. Throw down your weapons and hand over your ship. Imbeciles! What do two of you think you can do against the five of us? Take them out! <laughs> I think you miscounted. I only see four of you. Dad! We'll take care of these guys. Make your way to the bridge and shut down the engines. And when we're out here, remember it's Captain, not Dad. Got it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, Captain. Hey, Ika. Shall we introduce ourselves to the captain of this ship? Ready when you are. All right. Let's go find the bridge. Let's go. Love these guys. Ah, mm -hmm. Sacri Crystal One, basic loot. Look, this is very much a relic of its time, but it still holds up. Well, well, Air Pirates have decided to infest my ship uh, you get different abilities I believe depending on the elements Valentine can correct me I am Alfonso cherished son of Vala's most distinguished family and an admiral of the Imperial Armada normally low life such yourselves would never have the opportunity to bask in greatness consider yourselves fortunate yeah right Who's the girl? Never thought someone of your stature would stoop to kidnapping. Ha! You're very observant for a rogue. However, I cannot waste my time dealing with you. I simply must get going. I think I shall have exterminated like the best you are. Dispose of them! You know, I'd like to cut Les Fury. Huh. 
Oh, that's right. I remember now. Yeah. Hi, kitten. That wasn't so bad. Sakura was learned. There you go. Sounds bring back memories. Sounds about right. Oh, that's right. I remember now. The moons are a big part of this game. They re represent elements, so on and so forth. Red is obviously fire. What? How'd you defeat my soldiers? Well, my ship that badly, you can have it. I'll get another. I am very busy. I have time to deal with you personally. Now, if you'll excuse me. did her hair uh flamengo have you ever seen um uh have you ever seen um uh which Gundam series is it Iron-Blooded Orphans. Gundam by Iron-Blooded Orphans. The answer is no. Okay. There's a character in there. They're like... They go through all this, this digi stuff. It's very obvious that like... No one's ever gonna get a shower shit like that. And her hair... The character... Her... Her hair is perfection throughout all of it. Your Excellency, the sun is up and visibility is good. Preparations for your escape have been completed. Good work, I finished my preparations as well. Preparation to dispose of a traitor? What, what? Please, Your Excellency, what are you doing? I cannot tell the Empress that I lost my ship to air pirates in a fair fight. I'm going to the scapegoat, and you'll do quite nicely. To keep my glorious reputation from being tarnished, you must be sacrificed. But no, you can't do this. Ah! 
Even in death, he'll serve me well. Can't wait to tell the Empress. But Empress, my own vice captain betrayed us and allowed the air pirates on board. I could do naught but dispose of the traitor myself. This is how Vala treats its people? Nani? Now we take control of your ship, we'll be taking the girl as well. One more thing I need to do. After you see you kill an unarmed man in cold blood, I can't allow you to walk away from this. Draw your blade, Alfonso. Ugh, a civilized rogue such as yourself wants to challenge me. You aren't worth my effort. Perhaps you'd like to meet one of my pets. Come, Antonio. What? What is that thing? He's my personal war beast. <sighs> I was gonna leave him here. It seems I found a use for him after all. Antonio, trample the pests. Make their deaths as painful as possible. Focus on one's rough. I could cut Les Fury. I'm just gonna attack though and let Ari heal. Whiff? Well, you didn't miss that, Tom. Now I'll cut Les Fury. So, uh, something that's really cool in this game. There's lots of things really cool in this game. One of the cool things in this game, the tide of battle changes the music. So if you're struggling, the music sounds dire. If you're winning, the music is more uh, positive. Nothing like it. It is just an RPG of that, well, not after that era, actually. That wasn't so bad. Um, one very important thing is like the mana is dictated by what abilities you can use dictated by that bar that charges throughout the fight. Yeah. As opposed to having your own pool of MP. 
Cartoon Network. Croucher is very good. One of my favorites. Well, Vice of the Blue Rogues, you will crew this day. The day you stood against Valorant Empire. We shall meet again. I haven't played Legend of Dragoon, so I can't tell you. You coward. What kind of commander sacrifices his own men and ship ran from a fight? Well, you know he was a coward. He was a coward with gold. True. Suppose that the ship and everything on it officially belongs to us now. Yeah. Haven't had a catch this big quite some time. People back home are going to be impressed. And look at this girl. Never seen anyone dressed like that before. You're right. She sure doesn't look like she's from around here. Wonder why Valo was trying to kidnap this girl in the first place. I wonder where she's from. This place. Am I am I home? Fina. Fina, you replace Rami the Moon. Elder. However, watch yourself. Do not allow trust. Elder. How is she, Vice? Her breathing's more regular now. I think she'll be alright. Apparently, Vice is also a doctor. Hey! Look, she's coming too! Where, where am I? You're aboard our ship, the Albatross. I'm Vice, don't worry. There aren't any Valoid troops around, so you'll be safe here. Y yes, uh, thank you very much. You don't need to thank us. The Blue Rogues are always there to help people. <laughs> My name's Ika. It's nice to meet you. Hey, could you tell us your name? My name... My name is Fina. That's a great name. Fina, huh? It's a great name. So... So feminine. Really? You think so? Jeez, you try to compliment someone and nothing. No reaction whatsoever. Vice, that wasn't much of a compliment. Looks like you have a lot to learn about women. Um, excuse me, but I have a question. What exactly is an air... air pirate? Uh, what? You were out sailing all by yourself, and you don't even know what air pirates are. Oh, I... I'm sorry. It's my first time traveling. Basically, air pirates are sailors that attack other ships and steal their cargo. <gasps> attack! Haha, <laughs> you don't have to worry about us. We're blue rogues. See, air pirates are divided into two factions. The blue rogues and the black pirates. Black pirates will attack anything in the sky, especially merchant vessels and unarmed ships. However, we blue rogues only take cargo from armed ships, especially the Imperial Armada. We rob from the rich and keep the gold, but we use the gold to save people that need our help. That's why we helped you. Don't worry, we aren't trying to kidnap you or anything. Just relax and enjoy the trip. Um, sure. Vice, Ika, how are they going to sit there chit-chatting? Come to the bridge now. Oh no, I completely lost track of time. Oh well, guess that means we have to go. Alright, Fina, we'll see you later. Try and get some rest. I forgot 100% about the, um... The dialogue mattering. Hi, Jen. Hi, Heather. You're having trouble hearing me over the other two in my house. You hear that? Weird.
Hey, Dad. You're late, Vice. I told you you need to be on time for your shift. You know the routine. Swab the decks and they better be clean. But, Dad, it was only a little late. On a ship, being a little late can cost lives. And the one thing, while you're on board, it's not Dad. It's Captain. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. We're heading home to Pirate Isle. Go report to Briggs. To see if he needs you for anything. Hey, our vice finally decided to join us on the bridge, huh? Well, we're heading back to Pirate Isle. Uh, southeast, just da 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 da. And then we get to take the ship. Alright, give me a second. tripped over something to get to that. I'll be alright. Vice, before we set sail, do you have any questions for you? No, 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 no. Nope. Meow. Can I not ascend and descend yet? Correctly, the loop. I won't be able to hit the looper. Never mind. Looper sorted. Every day, buddy.
Hey, Fina, how are you feeling? Feeling much better. Thank you for your concern. No problem. I'm just happy to see that you're well. Looks like I'll be reaching the out. Looks like we'll be reaching the island soon. Island? You can see it right over there. That's our base, Pirate Isle. Pirate Isle. I mean, you gotta be a little conspicuous. Obviously, it's not actually called Pirate Isle. catches yet maybe we should celebrate <clears throat> this is what we do what do you think mm -hmm. certainly looks challenging challenging huh not that you mentioned it isn't easy but it is fun I would say so you asked if this is Final Fantasy adjacent I would actually say this is more adjacent to the Tales series. If I had to compare it to another RPG series, probably Tales. It's like my opinion though. Underground port inside Pirate Isle from the outside this island looks like a quiet peaceful village. Inside the island is where our headquarters is located. There are armory shops and even taverns here, inside here. Come on, we'll give you a tour. Vice. Come to my office immediately and bring that girl with you. Vice, I wonder what that's all about. Not sure, but we'd get better hurry. You know how my dad gets when we're late. I say close. Like, uh, it would be more tales than it is Final Fantasy. Especially like Symphonia for the story. Another game I need to play on stream. Vice and I can report it for duty, and we brought Fina like you requested. You're a little late. Let's let it slide this time. Come on over. Young lady, I am dying. Captain Blue Rogues. A few questions I want to ask you. Will you answer them for me? Of course. Been see for a long time, but I've never come across anyone wearing clothes like yours. 
What country are you from and why were you traveling alone out there? Dad, you're worrying too much. If it is a normal girl. Vice, even though I'm your father, also leader of the Blue Rogues. As far as my duty, not only protect the safety of the family, uh, but the safety of my crew as well. This girl is a danger any sort to you or my men. I cannot let her live. Huh? But, but. Fina, it's your turn to speak. I cannot say. Why is that? It's because we're air pirates. Don't you trust us? Uh -uh. Has nothing to do with it. Thank you with all my heart for saving my life. But I cannot tell any living soul about the purpose of my quest, even if it means sacrificing my own life. I have no intention of endangering any of your lives. If you believe anything that I say, please believe this. All right, then. Looks like I lost this one. I understand your dilemma, and I can see it in your eyes that you're true to your word. Although we're air pirates, we also have a strong sense of honor. You do not need to divulge the details of your quest. Understand that you now have my trust. Be careful that you do not lose it. Thank you so much. Captain Dine, thank you kindly. I will not disappoint you. Bye, Saika. Bring the girl, Fina, topside and give her a tour of our village. Yay! That's more like it. Way to go, Dad. You're the best. It's not Dad, it's Captain. I swear, how many times do I have to remind you? You're excused. Don't be late for dinner. See, I don't remember the town building aspects of this game like you do, Valentine. I don't think I focused on them as much. Go on ahead, I have to stop by the house for a second. What's wrong? I just want to freshen up. Don't worry, I'll catch you with the guys in a few minutes. See you at your house. Lots of the little kids playing with the the pal. Tutorial area. Give me your stuff. I remember things. Oh, 
Oh yeah. What this handkerchief is for? Looks like there's something underneath it. Whoops! Handkerchief is there covering the hole in Ika's room. <gasps> Who's there? Take that, you creep! <laughs> Ow, my eye! Oh. Vice, what are you doing peeking into my room? Should be ashamed of yourself. Can't believe you would smile at me like that. Get out of here. But, but, I was just looking under the handkerchief. I didn't know. Probably just put it there to draw people's attention. It is a terrible way to cover up a hole. Welcome back, Vice. So you're Fana. It's very nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. I hope I'm not intruding. Don't be silly. It's been a long time since we had guests. Well, I have to finish cooking dinner. Go outside and have some fun. Call you when it's ready. Hey, guys. Sorry to have kept you waiting. I was fixing my hair. The sunset outside is beautiful. Why don't we go outside and check it out? Well, we still have time before dinner, why not? Okay, great, come on. Have a great view on top of the Lookout Island. <laughs> this would be a terrifying ladder. Absolutely terrifying. That is not OSHA compliant. So beautiful. I love it up here. So peaceful. Come up here to relax and watch the sunset. When I'm up here, I often wonder what lies beyond the sky, beyond the sunset. Beyond the sky? Some say they're monsters. I uh, say it's a maelstrom that blows ships away, pulls them in. They're never seen again. Then there's others just say it's impossible. I want to know what's out there. Besides, I don't like giving up on anything without giving it my best shot. Someday I'll be the captain of my own ship. I'll go beyond that sunset. Now see what's out there. Wow. But if I could go beyond the sunset, the sky would look even more beautiful. Huh? Hey! That was a moonstone. Uh, moonstone? It landed on that island over there. I think that's Shrine Island. It's been a long time since we've seen a moonstone fall. I don't understand. That was a moonstone? That's right. Feed you've heard of moonstones before, right? They're pieces of rock that fall from the moons. They usually crash land on the islands. They're a really powerful source of energy, too. We use them for all sorts of things. Power our... Uh, they power our airships and we can also forge weapons out of them. Oh yes, I know of moonstones. But it's my first time seeing a moonstone actually fall from the sky. Vice, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we should try to recover the moonstone. Let's go first thing tomorrow. 
Vice, Ica, Fina. Dinner is ready. Come on down. Let's go, Fina. But you're going to eat with us, right? We're so lucky. I love your mom's cooking. Fina, let's go eat while it's still hot. Yes, thank you for the gracious offer. She climbed that ladder in a dress, not just any dress. There's no like, if you look at her walk, there's no like space. There's no like maneuverability with that dress. Vice, Vice. Good morning. We're going to Shrine Island today, right? Yeah, I'll be right down. Give me a second. She didn't climb up there. Here, take this, your share of the loot from yesterday's raid. Moonstone has been processed already, so you should be able to use it for, on your weapons. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, here's the experience. I can learn purple magic. Good morning, Fina. Did you sleep well? Yes, thank you. Fina will be heading over to Shrine Island to get that moonstone in a few minutes. You can stay here and relax at my place if you want. That'll be fine. Thank you. All right, Vice, let's get going. The boat is on the upper dock and it's ready to go. <sighs> Sorry for the yawn. Someone's gonna go on, you'd be crazy to go to Shrine that's haunted, you know. <laughs> so I do plan on putting uh, these uh this let's play on youtube uh either uh well that sucked um so uh thank you all for watching here on twitch uh but if you do happen to be watching this on youtube thank you for watching it there as well um i do want to get in the habit of doing this um more frequently, especially when I'm playing these story style games. That way, if you you've ever if you're watching this on Twitch and you have to go to bed early or something like that, I have the VOD over on on YouTube where you can watch it at your leisure and maybe catch it before I go live again. That's the idea anyway. Uh -huh. 
I I don't like putting chat on screen. Um Personally? Oh, that guy has one HP left. That was a waste. It just means I sound like a crazy person sometimes because I'm replying to chat. Um... And and those who are watching on YouTube have no fecking clue what I'm doing. I'm talking about. Okay, crazy all the time. Hush. Is all magic AoE? Or is Pyre? I think Pyre is AoE. Over there, look at the size of that hole. Musto must have caused that. It's huge, I can look. Water's flowing into the shrine. In the old world, this island was a sacred place. This room used to be some sort of temple. Nobody's been here for generations. I've heard stories about this place too. I've heard that there are monsters crawling around inside. Moonstone's that big or rare. You gotta go in and get it. You know how I can't pass up the tre a treasure hunt. Besides, how bad could it possibly be? Famous last words. You're right. We're gonna we're going treasure hunting. We'll just do a little saver rooney here. You gotta love like the opening segments of a of a. Uh, of a JRPG, right? Like, it's all about getting to know the characters, setting the stage for the, for the, um, the game as a whole. So it takes a little bit longer to get going. Uh, but once, once you get going, man. Place is flooded. I can look at the moose stone at the bottom. It's so bright. That most moose stone must be huge. So Vice, how do we plan on getting it out of there? Water is getting pretty deep. 
Find a way to drain the water. Yeah, let's let's do let's use doors as drains. I forget what purple magic is. I've been bonked. Hi, Kimmy. Sounds delightful. counter. Nope. Ha! Oh no. That was gonna hurt. I do like that magic uh, levels up independently of uh, regular level.
Kaboom! Old game, Kimmy. Skies of Arcadia uh, originated uh, the Dreamcast days. I healed her. Everybody's healed up. Counter counter attack. Oh, that's just rude. Oh, I got lucky there. Okay. Eat that, Mr. Grouper. We won! We won! Ah, so close. Okay, good. A looper ran. Oh, well, that's not doing very much damage. Counterattack. You counterattack. <laughs> Me counterattack. find out Crystal Lee fabulous he was found out it's ice
Head check. The rip. That's gonna hurt. Ow. Stinks. Sorry, these are sleep snakes that have done largely nothing except make one of my party members sleep and then run away. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Five feet and attacked again. Ugh. Nice a boss. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to use magic. Definitely going to have to use magic. quite yet, but oh well. Oh no. Oh no! to go home and restock. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to go do. Nice. I didn't mean to attack two different targets. Okay, it worked out.
Well, it wasn't that nice of Lucy. Say, I guess Vice will just take one of them out. Kill the snakes! So they stopped making me sleep. It's so rude! Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go restock. Six. I feel like this is an important door. It wasn't. What do Mooberries do exactly? A fertilizer we eat it will enable you to learn a new technique. Oh, okay. on the next skill over there. Can't go down that way yet. This is unfortunate. to that. That's exactly what I needed. This is gonna hurt. Huh. 
All right, maybe. Nope. So I was shocked when we hit the one earlier. Got it. Eh. Which in game code is a big old screw you flesh bag. I know I'm going in circles. I'm not too man to run my ass off. Just let me slide down there. That's a lot of stuff. They're all going to attack her. Yes, I am aware of that game. Not a one of them is going to attack Vice. I know. It's been on my radar. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, give me one second, folks. I'm gonna step away and grab some water. I'm sorry, Vice. Good lord. Alright. So I've already managed to get myself lost in a... At a very simple map. That's the chest. This is the way I came in. Because I had to climb down here. Not sure why she had to run up and or whatever. <clears throat> that was easy. All right, so the two doors down here. That means I need to go up again, right? But I thought I did all that. That door. I guess I gotta go up. I can't slide down. If I go here. Okay. I got confused here. No, I didn't get con- no, yes, I did get confused here. This takes me to the other side. Where a chest is. Well, at least it gives me the stuff to keep going.
Oh. This size of that stone will be an adventure and a half just to get that thing back outside. Hey, Pro Poke. I can, what's wrong? Vice, those rocks, they're moving. Your favorite game, Pro Poke? It like that, huh? And you didn't get a counter. Oh, we're in trouble. forgot that magic droplet does nothing.
This is a long shot. If I somehow survived this, which I doubt I will, um, it would be a miracle. No, stop that. Back off. Ah, please let Vice go first. Now that I know the strat for having no MP. So we're just going to attack with Vice, attack with Ika. Yeah, she only does 25. Vice does, at least does 50. We're going to guard up here. As this does its little blaster thing. And that's only going to hit Vice because Vice isn't sat next to uh, Ika right now. But he'll do 50. She'll do 110 with Alpha Storm. So that's 160 a turn with a chance of um, Oh nice All right, we're going to have to burn the two soccer crystals. Let's try this. Here goes. 
And I mean, I guess it's almost six and one half to like difference of like 10 HP at a, a turn versus if I did it the opposite way and I could do this every. Oh, no. Stop countering! This isn't gonna work, but... Target search. That's fine. That's perfect. Well, I did something. Quick counter attacking. That's fine. Ah, if he wouldn't attack before Vice, Vice is going to die. Oh, no. Just enough. That was a tough fight. <sighs> GG's. Looks like it won't begin up anymore. What was that? What was that thing? Some kind of ancient guardian, I think. Who knows? Okay, Aika. We need to hurry up and get to secure the Moonstone. That's my kind of plan. Wow, this Moonstone is huge. It's definitely worth going through all that trouble. We won't have to worry about fuel for a while. It's beautiful. Treasure hunting is definitely my favorite part of being an air pirate. Wait till everyone back home sees what we found. Received raw moonstone.
Yes. About a decade ago, ProPoke. It's been a while. Looks like it's gonna be another nice day today. Not too windy. There's the bell. Time to get to work. Gotta loosen up a little. Huh? Oh. Oh no! Ships! Ships approaching from the north- northwest! This is 1.5 leagues! It's the Imperial Armada! They've got a full battle squadron! They're in attack formation! Oh, not even a warning. Everyone get on the ground! Women and children first! Hurry! Damn, never thought they'd find us. That flag, it's Galcian's flagship. Lord Galcian, we blasted the island with cannon fire and our troops have begun the invasion. Good. They seem very organized for a small village that is under siege. I don't know who their leader is, but he seems very capable. Perhaps Alfonso was an in over his head. Perhaps. Hmm, no matter. It appears the battle is over. Retrieve the girl and bring her to me. Capture the air pirates. We'll need to interrogate them when we return to Valua. And be sure to destroy their ship as well. And if they resist Lord Galcian? What does your excellency wish me to do if the situation arises? I don't think they're foolish enough to resist. However, if something should happen, burn the village and kill them all. Let the bodies rot in the sun and leave one of our flags to set an example for others who may defy us. Huh. <laughs> Meanwhile... No, yeah, I played this game when it originally came out um, for the GameCube. Um, And then a couple times after that, but it's definitely been a while. So some of the mechanics and how to optimize battle and things like that, that's a little, little strange to remember. Why are y'all messing with Aika? It's bullshit. They should all be dead.
this one. South by Southeast. I was hoping you get to back to base. I'm bothered. I could have Cutlass Furied. In fact, that's what I will do. Everything's on fire. And not in the fun way. Can I go to sleep real quick? <laughs> it was worth a shot. Windmill Island is what it, the island is supposed to be known as. No. Otherwise would have had full MP and uh, ma uh, health for that. Oh, the albatross is busted. Mom! Vice, Ica, thanks to the moons, you two were safe. What happened here? It was the Imperial Armada. They came out of nowhere and attacked us. What happened to Dad? Where is everyone else? Father said if we fight, too many lives will be lost, so he surrendered. Cat and Dine, the others. They were taken prisoner by the Armada and taken to Valoa. Damn, Fina. What happened to Fina? I'm sorry, Vice. The Armada took her too. And Valoa, the punishment for piracy is death. Fina will probably be killed too. Vice, what should we do? What do you think, Aika? We have to save our families and Fina. I know rescuing everyone isn't going to be easy, but it's not impossible. Can't let them get away with this. Don't worry. We'll get them back somehow. Yeah, you're right. 
It's up to us. We can give it up. We can't give up now. All right, let's go. Let's show those Valowids what happens when they mess with the blue rogues. Wait, you won't be doing anything against Valowid the shape you're in right now. Don't just rush after them. You'll need a plan first. It's not going to be an easy fight. But, but, if we don't hurry, everyone might... My husband always said acting quickly and rushing are two completely different things. Especially in times like these. You must calm down and plan everything, plan every move carefully. Don't worry, everything will be all right. He, your father, won't let things end like this, not him. Yeah, mom, you're right. Aika, let's rest up today. I'll leave for Valo first thing in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Mom's like, good luck. Lord Galcian, as you ordered, I brought the girl to see you. Excellent, you may leave. As you wish. At last we meet, Fida. You cannot imagine how much trouble the Armada has gone to find though through gone through to find you. How'd you know my name? I am Galcian, the sworn protector of Valowa and Supreme Commander of the Imperial Armada. I am under direct orders from Her Royal Highness, Empress Theodora, to find you and bring you back to Valowa. As a citizen of Silver Civilization, you have information that is useful to us. Will you help us? I see. I did not expect us to uh, expect you to help us without proper motivation. However, I believe we have the same goals. So would it be best for us to help each other? We will reach Valawa in half a day. Enjoy the covers of the brig until then. Mom's just out there wishing us good luck. I'm gonna try to fix everything. You just watch. You don't have to worry about anything, okay, Vice? We're not little babies anymore. I was a little scared at first. Gotta learn to take care of things around here, too. Vice, Aika, good luck. Better come back. Promise me, okay? Of course, don't worry. We'll come back with everyone else, too. All right, Aika, let's go. Aye, aye, value should be landmass due north from here. I'm setting the course. All right, Valua, here we come. In our dinghy. And no helm. I really don't want to know how they drive this thing. Oh, hell yeah. I know. It's just funny that they're flying away, standing on deck, and, and it's still going.
Oh, this is overkill. Lambda burst. I remember Lambda burst. Oh, now I can. Now I can. Hey, merchant ship, you want to trade? Yeah. Looper's wasting my freaking time. Too close to that island over there. Oh, right. I remember now. What? Where? That's no island. It's a pergill. Vice, look. It's not an island. Whatever it is, it's alive. What the? It's an arc whale. I've never seen one this big before. Vice, we'll get killed if we get too close to it, but we've got to hurry to Valwa. Vice, what should we do? What do you think we're going to do? Of course we're going to retreat. We'll stand a chance against that thing in this ship. I know we're in a hurry, but if that thing capsizes us, everyone we know will be ex executed. We better play it safe. Okay, I can't argue with that. We'll be okay as long as it doesn't see us. Uh, Vice, it's all us. Grab hold of something and brace yourself. Don't let go. The ship, it's breaking up. Uh, hey. All right. Hey, get up. Are you going to sleep all day? Get up. Uh, 
Ow, my head. Ugh. Aika, are you okay? So you finally decided to get up, huh? Because of you two, Ragnar got away. I was so close. Ragnar? Now I remember. Huge arc whale that blew our ship off course. Thought we were finished, but you rescued us. Hey, thanks. Thanks? Thanks, you say? Don't start with me. Vice! Ow, I'm not sure why. I keep getting hurt today. Hey, what are you doing, you crusty or rusty old man? He didn't do anything. Didn't do anything? I've been chasing after that arc whale for years. I was so close to finally capturing him. Because of you kids, he got away. I'm really sorry that you didn't catch him. Really? <clears throat> Debris from your ship hit my sails. I'm lucky my ship is still airborne. You kids were even luckier that I was here to grab you. I was working all morning tossing what was left of your ship overboard. Now I'm stuck with the two of you. What? Our ship? Was destroyed? Aye. Now, this isn't a passenger ship. Everyone on board needs to pull their own weight. If you don't like it, you can jump off. I need to keep the load as light as possible anyway. What? Oh, great. What kind of mess have we gotten ourselves into? It's pied with a metal arm. I'm not that mean. And I also don't have a Ahab complex. Go down the hole and bring two supply boxes to the bridge. Actually, sir, we are on our way to Vala while we were attacked. Where's the ship headed? Where is the ship going? Is that your concern? Now get moving. I give up. I really don't have time to be doing this. But what other choice do I have? Uh, depending on the whale, yes. Killer whales, but they're technically dolphins. Humpbacks are pretty cool. But he doesn't like them. He wants to kill them. Specifically one. Oh, you got a little more than lubber in your bones. What's your name, boy? Uh -huh. Name's Vice. I'm a blue rogue. Used to do this type of grunt work for the pirate ship on the pirate ship. An air pirate, huh? Well, and what exactly would two air pirates be doing sailing alone? Well, we have our reasons. Sir, we need to get to Valua. I beg you, please take us there. Valua, huh? Explain. That's why you have to get there as soon as possible. We need to save our friends. Trying to pick a fight with the Armada? 
You gotta be out of your mind, boy. I have no time to babysit you and your friend. And I need to find Rockham again. Try your luck with a different ship. I see. So I really would help if you could bring us, but we can't force you to. By the way, why exactly are you chasing Rockham anyway? There is no need to tell you. There's still one supply box left. Get down the hole and get moving. Great. Spill my guts. He keeps quiet. That makes me do all the work. What's with this guy? That's exactly what I'm going to do for lunch tomorrow. What's in this thing, anyway? Ow. Ow! I'm done, sir. All right. Now on the next chore, take the helm. What? You really letting me? I want to see how well you can sail. If you can't sail, then you'll be loaded boxes the rest of the trip. Wow. Most of my duties revolved around raiding, so I hardly ever got to actually fly our old ship. <laughs> well, they're pretty old, but these gauges are in great shape. The wheel's so light. It's really responsive, too. Ship must make really tight turns. Heh. <laughs> Someone who's hardly ever been at the helm of a ship this size. Seem to know quite a bit, boy. Spent a lot of time at the bridge of the Albatross, so I picked up a lot. Good. Now let's see if you can actually sail. Our destination is the Sailor's Island, about 40 leagues northeast of here. Wait a minute. You could at least tell me the name of this ship. I'm yours while you're at it. Ship's called Little Jack. And I'm Drachma. Alright, now stop fooling around. Sun's gonna set sail soon. Set soon. Sun's not gonna set sail. Aye aye, Captain Drachma. Little Jack, full speed ahead. I like the Little Jack. It's a fun little... It's a fun little boat. <laughs> he just spun the wheel to... to and <laughs> the ship didn't lurch? Oh, nice. Nice placement there, enemies.
Now, this is a pretty solid time to, uh... Farm up a little... XP, because, uh... Um... Drachma's level 12. Wow, we can't hit the broad side of the barn. purpose, of course. Alright, I think I'm gonna switch, uh, Vice back to, uh, Red for the time being. <laughs> A maraca shell? What's that do? Ah, proves defense. Thank you all for, for watching and hanging out, though, today. I appreciate it. Um,
Slap it! Good job, Drop. Nice! And we hit the looper. That was easy. Now, I'm pretty sure I can't go through these fog walls. I say pretty sure. Oh, I guess I'm gonna find out, huh? Oh, I can't. Cool. thought that I needed a special ship equipment to do that, but I guess uh, not yet. Oh no. That's, that's definitely uh, blocking me. I tried to go through that little section it wouldn't let me. Yep, sure enough, it's blocking me. So I'm not crazy. Counter. Nope. That was easy. Accidental grinding. I just punched him right in the face, didn't it? <clears throat> that was easy. Wevely was learned. Only a slight detour to where we actually need to be. I don't think it'll hit that one. How many of these will I get? Most of them.
I love that the game's like, you're of level now. Uh, we're just gonna start throwing a lot more stuff at you. Alright, so there is a wall all through that. The only way is through there. Proud of you. Oh, that did Bupkis. I think, like, in perspective, from, like, a, a modern view on a classic game, and, and definitely it's because of the times, and, um, only being able to do so much with your voice lines. Oh, now you work. Weird. Um, uh, can I help you? The ship is free medical vessel. Uh, second, no, we're fine. Just passing through the area. Saw your ship. Figured we'd come see who you were. Wait a second. Your clothes, your weapons, your eye patch. You guys are air pirates. You're just in time. There's something I would like to ask you guys. Please come inside. But like... Oh, I remember this. Um, I think it's Avery. Uh, so like a, a retrospective, a, a, a look, hindsight being what technology is now versus what it was 25 years ago, 20, yeah. 27 years ago, 28 years ago. Um, it would have been cool to have a little more personality with each different type of moon. So like when using the red moon for Pyrie, you get a different voice line versus just moons give me strength, that kind of thing. But I believe that, you know, that's a modern perspective on a classic game where when we got this game, we just, it blew our freaking minds. Uh, apologize for the abruptness. I know I don't really need my services and I no need to stay. I have a favor to ask of you. Let me introduce myself. The name's Doc, or that's what everyone calls me. I'm a free doctor. I don't have a country to call home. But that just lets me live the way I want to. So. I fly the skies and heal sick and injured sailors whenever the winds take me. Oh, and this is Maria. She's a little quiet and shy, but she's a good kid. Right. Uh, now what's this you wanted to ask us to do? <laughs> directed to the point. I like that. But here, take this lens. Sort of related to what I want to ask you. That thing's called a moon lens. It's a special lens made from moonstones. 
With it, you'll be able to see things you wouldn't normally be able to. Here, put the lens on and look where I'm pointing. He has mood lens contacts. Whoa, there's something. Some sort of creature right there. It's a moonfish. They're tricky little fellows to catch because they're, well, transparent. Can only see them using that lens. Which brings me to the favor I want to ask of you. I want you to find as many of these moonfish as you can and bring them back to me. They tend to nest in populated areas for whatever reason. So check towns and dungeons. But they try to keep out of most people's ways. So look in hard to reach areas like behind buildings, under bridges, and rooftops. One more thing. Whenever you're near Moonfish, the moon lens I gave you will react to make a sound. So pay attention. Okay, so I use this lens and see the little guys. How in the six moons am I supposed to catch them? Oh, it's pretty easy, actually. Here, let me put the moon lens into your goggles. When I'm done, you can use it when you go into the first person point of view. Y button. Once you find a moonfish, target up here, line up with the moonfish. And when you've got the moonfish in your sights, just press the A button. And here you go. Lens was a perfect fit. Well, sounds easy enough, right? Actually, the reason for all this is a bit strange. A uh, little bird got lost and found its way to my ship. I decided to take care of it for now, but just don't get, uh, get what this bird's problem is. He refuses to eat anything other than moonfish. But for whatever reason, Maria seems to have really grown attached to the critter. So I do what I can to keep it happy. It's sort of my responsibility to take care of Maria. Anything she wants, I provide. Of course, there's only so much I can do. But... I can't leave my ship. I can't leave Maria here all alone. That's why I'm asking you to do this favor. Of course, I will compensate you adequately. Bring me lots of fish. I'll give you items in return. So please, if you find any moonfish, bring them to me. I'll be eternally grateful. Cool story, bro. Should be a moonfish near or on Sailor's Island. I'm sure if you look hard enough, you can find them. Sure, check out Top Roost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. The very next town would have one. Wow. So this is Sailor's Island. I've never been here before, but I can already tell this place is lots of fun. Yep, think I'm gonna like it here. Good, after I restock my supplies, I'm leaving again. You two could stay here. Huh? Wait a second, we have no ship. You planning to just strand us here? I've gotta find Rocknam. In the meantime, I have to find a cannon that's powerful enough to destroy him. No time to waste with you kids. You two can resolve your own problems. This is just great. He's not listening to anything we're saying. Wonder if there's anything that'll make the old man change his mind. Well, we dig up some information. Let's go around town and see what we can find. Oh, Lords. I remember that guy. Oh, yeah, I actually meant to bring that up. Uh, I saw y'all yesterday in Discord chatting up a storm. 
Uh, I could have really joined, but I, I just wanted to say uh, that I uh, it was cool to see that all y'all were in chat doing stuff together. And I wanted to give y'all a hard time when it got late. Uh... Yeah, this sounds kind of a pain. I see it. doing here with the bottle attached to the dead side Quetya, please send warriors to help us fight against the evil one of Rothas sounds like they're in trouble over there they should probably keep it just in case ooh it is that time but I don't see a safe spot, so... Really? I guess we can buy the hook hand too. Says we're gonna make Drachma take us anywhere, so. Vice's uniform and Ica's shorts.
All right, stocked up on items. Excuse me. Oh, there's a safe spot. All right, that's a good stopping point. expert. <laughs> 